guys today we're gonna do a massive topic and that is skin conditions skin inflammation eczema dermatitis what do we use for it and what's first line and a very safe thing to do is cortisol creams uh, or ointments the cortical preparations what do you need to know about betamethasone all right there's a few different types you can get it in um, two different salts I will also put in the link at the bottom the potency of these um, corticosteroids as well um, and then you can have a look at that just for interest sake however you can get it in a cream at a lower potency and you might find that they will want to use this on, on more sensitive and thinner areas like the face um, and then you've got like the stronger salts there in the cream and then also in the ointment when you're using it in the ointment there it gives you a bit more protection moisturizing and it's better absorbed um, and then you've also got the optimized vehicle which is even for more severe eczema dermatitis um, and then what they do is they mix it with a vitamin D analog um, for further yeah further healing and aiding of the skin what people also want to avoid is and you'll get this is a lot of steroid anxiety would this steroid make my child short would this steroid thin and out the kids skin forever um, things like that can really freak people out however that is all like mostly a myth apart from some people who get their skin gets quite addicted to hydrocortisone that for most kids if you use it continuously daily and properly and um, with a good like, holistic plan you can actually treat the extra really well and it's safe for your child um, and for yourself as well so there is so much you can do on corticosteroids I wish I could talk more about it um, but for the sake of your exams, I would know what it's for, skin inflammation. You want to apply it once or twice a day. You want to reduce heat, so like less hot long showers. Stay away from like standing in front of a heater directly. You want to keep skin moist. If you'd like to know, I can also show you what a um, wet compress looks like, where you put like a wet cloth or towel and you just wrap it over with a dry crepe. Allow that to sit for one hour or two hours. That can be really soothing for some people and some kids. Um, and different products that can also um, help with healing the skin. We're repairing the biggest organ of the body. This organ here is like sometimes used for detoxing as well. So if they um, clean up a few things they do, if they stop eating irritants like your high sugars, your alcohol, um, just the you know, really fried and gunky bad foods for your teenagers, that can really help the skin sometimes. Um, but stay curious because it's different for everyone um, and just let them know that corticosteroids are the first line and the best treatment for this um, it doesn't warrant taking antihistamines or steroid tablets and things like that most of the time unless it's quite severe um, then doctors would do that okay guys that's corticosteroids betamethasone um, corticosteroid once or twice a day watch out um, to see if it's you know working well for skin let them know to use it every day until it heals um, and then also moisturize the skin Lifestyle counselling is massive for corticosteroids. I'm very interested to see what training comes out um, and what other advice we'll need now that the um, mimetazone is over the counter, finally, which is awesome. Uh, and then just adequate training. Skin care and the skin care service in pharmacy is huge and I think we can make a huge difference. All right, guys. See ya.